We are back. A new Ross into the rescue as this monster winter storm is hammering the East Coast as we speak. Yeah, this morning we're talking about how to protect your car and your home from that snow and that ice. Today, National Investigative Correspondent Jeff Rawson is on Eastern Long Island. He's got some simple hacks. Hey, Jeff. Hey, guys, good morning. Yeah, we're out in the storm. We have a lot of tips to get through. This is all cheap, inexpensive stuff that you have laying around your house that you can use to survive this storm. Let's get right to it. I want to start with protecting your car. And did you know kitty litter can help protect your car? And we're not talking about any kitty litter. You want silica crystals. Come on in here. You want it to look like this. Silica crystals is blue and white crystals, that kind of cat litter. Believe it or not, it absorbs moisture. So what you want to do is take some random socks you have laying around the house. I know you have plenty of old socks. Lay them down, put the kitty litter inside, tie the top, come over to your car. Since it absorbs moisture, and by the way, the car is now locked. So there we go. Get on in here. You can actually stick this right in your dashboard, and it will defog the windows really quickly. Or if you don't want to be weird by your friends, you can take it and stick it under your seat. This stuff is so powerful to absorb moisture it will actually work for days to defog all of your windows, which is really, really cool. Here's something else you can do. Regular cooking spray, Pam, any of, the, any of the brands. Cooking spray, you know how sometimes you can't open your door when it ices up and it's been parked overnight or in a parking lot? That's because water is getting in and freezing on the rubber seam, and that's why you can't open it. So before you park your car overnight, take some cooking spray, Spray it right on the rubber seam like this, all around, just like this, regular cooking spray. Take a dish towel, wipe off the excess. That will create a barrier and a lubricant so you'll be able to open your door. Let's keep on going. Here's something else I did overnight. This isn't snow, by the way. I put a towel on here, a regular towel from your bathroom. And look, no snow or ice on the windshield, nice and easy. Here's something else, I wanna run through these. You have these boots, right, ladies? You have these boots and they're not waterproof. You can waterproof boots, shoes, sneakers with WD-40. My dad always said WD-40 is everything. Spray it all over. We actually tried this. Spray it all over. Let it dry. It creates a barrier. It creates a seal. And believe it or not, it does make shoes waterproof. Here's something else. You can't buy rock salt in the stores. These are the last few bags I got in the store last night. How cool is that? Guess what? You don't need it. Bucket of hot water a little bit of dish soap, a little splash of rubbing alcohol like that. Mix it all together, guys. Mix it together like that, done. You have your homemade de-icer fluid. You can shuck it onto your pathway, and this will actually melt ice during the storm or after the storm. It melts it, the chemical reaction. Let me run inside for a couple of quick ways to protect your home. We're inside now. Come on over here. Saran wrap. Who doesn't have saran wrap at home, right? Who doesn't have it? Put it on your windows. We use some double-sided tape just like this. It keeps the cold air out. It keeps the warm air in. My cameraman, Sam, actually did this at his house. Makes a huge difference. Will also save you hundreds of dollars on your utility bill. Final one, guys. I love this. Fireplace. When you use the fireplace, open the flue, obviously. You, the smoke needs a place to go. When you're not using it, I want you to get in here like this and close the flue, close the flue. So much cold air gets into the house through the flue. So when you're not using it, close the flue. Experts say that'll save you money and keep your house warm as well. <sighs> I'm done. Okay, so Jeff, that was awesome. And amazing. How does Santa get down if you close the flue? <laughs> yeah. It's after Christmas, so we're good. Exactly. Jeff, that was awesome. Great tips. I love, it's like the cat litter, the sock. He's like MacGyver. The towel, yeah. the genius. Yeah. All right. Fascinating. Thank you, Jeff. Let's head over nice to Carson. Guys. I mean, that's hard to beat, my friends. Yeah. Well, you could just move to Florida, too, and stay warm. That's one way to do it. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.